a, another collective haul. This haul consists of stuff from Target, Marshalls, and Burlington. We have been out shopping in the city today, and I figured we just got back home. Might as well go ahead, sit down, and film a haul and not really wait it out. So, um, let's just go ahead and start with Marshalls because I only have one bag from Marshalls. Ran in Marshalls specifically just for makeup wipes, but of course I picked up two other things. So, sorry about the bags, y'all. The first thing that I picked up was this um, Calming and Soothing Aloe Jelly Pack. Um, I've never tried this before, but y'all know how I feel about aloe. Um, packaging is super cute too. It matches the unicarton. And it looks like, okay, it does have like the little spoon and stuff for you to scoop out the product. And it smells like aloe. It's green. Um, I'm thinking it's just like a moisturizer. I'm hoping it's just like a moisturizer. But, um... I'll have to kind of play around with it and see if it really does help calm my skin. Really, really fragrant of aloe, though. I know all aloe products are super fragrant like that. But, um, yeah, just one. Just looked interesting, and this was $3.90. Okay, the next thing that I picked up from Marshalls was, of course, the thing that I went in there for. Oh, I only got two things. I didn't pick up two other things. I only got two things. But it's just the coconut makeup removing wipes. You get 60 in here. It's the Body Prescriptions brand. And these were $3.99. Y'all know I don't really care for these wipes from like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But they do a pretty good job in between application for brushes. And just like, you know, a quick one over on the face before you go in with your deep cleansers and nighttime skincare routine. At least my personal opinion, that's what I use it for. Um... So that's what, that's what I get them for. But um, I've never tried the body prescriptions ones. I usually get the beauty concept ones from TJ Maxx. So I'm going to see how these do. Okay, now on to Target. We went in Target. And um, the vlog of us like actually in Target and all these stores went up Monday. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll have it linked down below. But I always check the clearance clothes when I go in Target. And y'all know how I feel about my flamingos. But there was this super cute, it's um, Grace and Threads brand. It's a short sleeve, modest crop. It's super long. But it's just a sunset in a flamingo. How precious is that? Couldn't pass it up. And, y'all, it was on clearance for $4. So, had to pick that up. Okay, the next thing that I picked up from Target was just some Q-tips nothing special about it. It's the Up and Up brand, 500 count. I use them, will use them, use them. It's just a staple thing that we keep around the house. Okay, the next thing that I picked up, I was so shocked to see. Y'all know I have my Impress nails. I wear them constantly. That's one brand that I'm so loyal to when it comes to press on. But they had oval edition their new releases and they're finally coming out with ovals and this particular style name is called lighten up and it's an oval shape and it's like a pinky nude but the accent nails is full glitter and y'all know i've really been loving the um aloha beaches print it isn't the print that i have on today i'll try to find a picture and insert it here of what the aloha beaches nail print looks like but this one looks very elegant, kind of similar to it, but it has more gold glitter and not the um, pearl accent stuff. But I thought these were so, so cute and pretty, and I, I'm really glad that they're getting on board with the different trends of experimenting with different nail shapes, not just the traditional square nail. But um, I like a square nail, but I'm going to try the oval and see. I'm actually going to hold on to these because I think these might be, a set of low high beaches would be the nails that I wore for my wedding, but I think these match my dress a bit better. So um, I think I'm going to hold on to these. Picked up some snacks. Me and Will like to have some snacks for movie nights. This was Will's. He picked up the Haribo streamers. I don't really care for Haribo's, like Haribo in general. But not only that, I'm really particular about che the chewy candy and sour candy that I do eat. 
that being said, the chewy candy that I picked up, and one of the only really chewy candies that I do enjoy besides Airheads, is Hot Smiley's. And now that I'm saying that, I probably should have picked up Airheads, but it's, I'm probably going to be going to Walmart in the morning anyway, so. Um, and we also picked up some peanut M&M's, just because I enjoy peanut M&M's. And the last thing that I picked up was just a small thing of the Bosch and Loam Bio True. I did not know that they have a Bio True in the travel section because the ones that are just a little bit bigger than this are seven or eight bucks that I pay for it at Walmart. And I'm going to need the contacts on the cruise. So I picked up this travel size one and I was, like I told Will in the store, I was super shocked. Did not know that they sold this in travel size. So it was nice to see and it was two bucks. So really can't pass that up when it comes to contact solution. Okay, and that is everything from Target. Now on to Burlington. We had some drama in Burlington. Not us, but um, when we were leaving, there were some people getting in trouble for stealing, so shame, shame. But the first thing that I picked up from Burlington was also a clothing piece that was on clearance for $4. And it's the Carnival Cruise colors. It's red, white, and navy blue. And it's just a striped little tank dress. It does have the little bow tie in the front. This is so cute. Um, I'll try to find a picture online or, you know, insert a picture like I did in the last haul or last vlog. I forget when I was, I think it was my last, my last collective haul that I did. But um, I might insert pictures because it's just so much easier for y'all to, just for y'all to see the product. But yeah, this was, um. It was originally $10 on clearance for four. Couldn't pass it up. It's going to be great for the cruise. Super cute little dress. Dresses are so easy for cruises and stuff because, you know, you save room in your suitcase because you don't have pants and a shirt. But personal preference. Okay, this next thing is actually a candle. And, y'all, I haven't bought a candle since we were in Georgia visiting my sister. And I got those candles from, oh, I can't think of the name of the craft store. Um, I'll insert the name of the craft store because it's going to come to me. But anyway, the craft store was closed and I bought a bunch of wedding cake candles. But the packaging on this got me, um, what's the line? It is, um, Eternal Lux is the company or the brand of candles that does this. They're a solar energy company. It's 100% cotton wick and it's a, a made in the U.S. company. But how cute is this packaging? It's called Taste Like Summer, and it has a cute little ice cream cone. They only had like two cents, but the packaging got me with this one, y'all. Just, you know, the solid white, sleek, and then it has the cute little Taste Like Summer. But it's a single wick vanilla cream candle. I'm probably going to like this as soon as I'm done filming this video, because it just... Will said that's why you can't smell candles, because when you start smelling them is when you buy them. But um, this was $6.99 and it just it's it's if I could explain the smell it's a sweet vanilla I don't think they have I have actual blah I don't think they have the actual notes on here because of course you know they put the price sticker over all the information but it's that sweet creamy vanilla almost like butter creamy scent really really good so if you see these candles at your Burlington pick them up smell them buy them if you like sweet scented candles that's my favorite I prefer a sweet scented candle but you know Candles are one of those things that are so much personal preference because, you know, there are people out there that are like me that, you know, candles give them a headache or they're only like certain scents. You never know. Okay. This next thing was the Hydramar Face and Body After Sun Spray with coconut and aloe. And this was $4 from Burlington. I have never used an After Sun Spray. So I mainly picked this up because with the cruises and stuff coming up and with it being summer right now, I just wanted to see if it truly worked you know, take it on the cruise, see if it really does help, um, believe it or not, after sun sprays are one of those weird, like, skincare products that are trending right now, the ingredients on it looked pretty good, I've never used any skincare from the Hydramar brand, if you have, let me know down in the comments below what your experience was with the brand, but, um, I'm just gonna give it a shot, okay, the last bag from Burlington, this was a little BB, um, Let's see what they call it. 
they call it a jewelry box, but I'm not going to use it as a jewelry box. It was $4, and it's black and gold, and it has a little A. Super cute little, and it does lift up. The inside's pretty big, too. It's very deep. Um, just super, super cute. It's one of those things you can set it in the background. It can be decoration. You could use it as a jewelry box. Um, I could set it on my nightstand and stick, like, medicine and stuff in it to be discreet. Just, you know, super, super cute. They had lots of different letters. Burlington is one of those places that I, I think is a lot better than, like, Ross and TJ Maxx and um, Marshalls when it comes to just very cute but elegant, like, home decor stuff at super affordable prices. But that is everything that I picked up from Burlington, Marshalls, and Target. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And hit that bell so that you are notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. Bye.